Hey everybody. So we've got another one for the bench and this is going to be a long-term project theoretically. Um, I, a guy on uh, Facebook and a McCullough group was selling this and at first he didn't want to ship. It come with a bar and a chain and everything but I didn't get the bar and the chain yet or I don't know if I'm going to. Um, it's a McCullough Model 77 gear drive, 120cc. Uh, it is locked up. Um, and I knew that when I bought it. But I figured, you know what? For the price and everything, let's see, let's give it a shot. So, it was a lawn ornament for the longest time. At first, the guy did not want to did not want to ship it but nobody local was coming and getting it so after you know a few weeks of uh of negotiating and everything he figured out shipping rates and separated the bar and the chain and said why not you know we'll go ahead and ship it so after about i want to say three weeks we uh we got it uh what you see is what I've pretty much done. I'll show you the reason for it being locked up. The good and the bad so far on it. I haven't even opened up the gas tank. I haven't even opened up the top. So, But we're just doing kind of an introduction video on this. It looks complete. I have not touched any coil or any penetrating fluid on things. It is... Uh, Production number 751 of the Model 77s, so low serial. Carburetor. Of course, somebody always pulls the trigger on these and breaks the uh, throttle flap in there, the slider, which you would know about that. You go back and look at the other Model 73s I've done. And you'd see that. So this one I can see, hopefully it's all there and intact. But, uh, finding parts. Good news is, I do have some parts on the way. So I'll show you the bad. Now, this, there's no, there's no saving this piston and cylinder. Zero. It is completely lock solid. There's no soaking that's going to bring that back. But the good news on these is the cylinders unbolt. Four bolts. Now, we're hoping the bottom end is in good shape. Good enough to where I can do something with it. I'm going to fly out of the way there. Ah, sorry, my nose is wanting to run a little bit. Weather outside it's actually cooled off. And... Plans are, I have a piston and cylinder on the way, a use set, and if I can get that to lift up high enough, we're going to cut a connecting rod to separate that, and it comes with another connecting rod with the piston. So we're hoping the crank is good. Uh, new bearings and seals the whole way around. Now, the good is complete, bad, bad cylinder and piston. Um... Another good though, the gearbox is free. So, so I figured I'd make an introduction video showing this one because we've got a very long term winter and whatnot. I don't know if I want to repaint the whole thing. Or just leave her the patina she has. So, but at least it isn't too beat up. No, I mean for a lawn ornament outside. You guys took a fell there. Well, oh. it uh, pretty good shape all the way. We stumbling on me. 
It does have, and this is the second one I have with that breakout right there. It, it looked like just a bad stress point for these. So, but everything other than that looks to be pretty fairly straight on it. So, I will soak things in oil here and croil and everything before we get started. Probably about a week or two before we get started, but we've got another saw in front of us first. Who knows about side cover here if we're going to try to 3D print something or what. Um, and as you see, these do have a different style carburetor on them. The air intake system does have an air filter. Awesome. So that might have helped me a little bit. And instead of air intaking there, the air intakes from the side. And you see the fuel system and stuff is just... It's a different animal. A little bit different, so... I figured I'd just do an introduction video on this. And you know what's coming up in our future here. So if you want to see this, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. We're almost to a thousand people before we go live and do a chainsaw giveaway. So, say, thanks for watching.